Hi everyone, today is November uh, 17th, 2017, um, the start of what was going to be my day four of my water fast. Day three officially ended last night at 8 p.m., so um, I ended up having to break my fast this morning at 10, so I went three and a half days. Definitely not my 21 to 30 days that I wanted to do, but I had said going into this water fast that I would listen to my body that at any time if my body was saying you need to stop this water fast I got a hair in my mouth I was like then I would I would stop it I, I told my family my friends myself that was a pledge and a promise that I gave and so I've been I've been listening to my body I um been watching my my sugar levels because I, I know those those can go down um during a water fast most people don't have problems with that but there are some people who can have problems if they have issues with their blood sugar levels anyway and um, I do sometimes so I was 15 I was with hypoglycemia and so I'm, I have a kind of a reactive hypoglycemia um, if I eat like I had one time a couple years ago I, I drank some orange juice I drank too much in a short period of time and oh boy I was bad <laughs> honestly I hadn't my mom not been there to get me um, some food some sugar um, I was on the couch and I could not get up and and I know my body very well uh, as far as passing out goes because uh, I don't really throw up I pass out instead and I know that time I was I was okay but had I not had food I know I would have ended up passing out and I have a family member that actually um, actually was at the hospital visiting someone but her, her hypoglycemia acted up and her blood sugars got low she did pass out but they were there at the hospital so they gave her glucose and you know she was fine Otherwise, she could have slipped into a coma. You don't mess with low blood sugar levels. So, um, you know, a lot of them are safe. You can get the food and you're fine. But if you let them go on, then that becomes unsafe. So what I did, I, I, gave, it an, I gave it 40 minutes and I checked it again. Um, but during that 40 minutes, I'd walked, out, I'd walked outside and I fed the dogs, watered the dogs. And um, by the time I got back in, I broke out into the cold sweat. Um, and I was trembling much harder, my chest was pounding much more, my head was pounding much more, and I went and checked my blood sugar and it had dropped um, a little bit more. And so it wasn't going up, it was going down, it was continuing to drop. And the only way to stop it from dropping when it's on a downhill spiral like that is to eat something. So I ended up breaking my fast with, and I know this isn't the most gentle thing on the stomach, but after just a three day fast, my stomach can handle that. It's not like it's an extended water fast. But I broke it with a 12 grain high fiber toast with peanut butter and a banana. It's like a lot of food, but um, the banana has the sugar to help um, raise up my, my sugar levels quickly. The uh, peanut butter has some, so does the bread, but the bread has fiber and the peanut butter has protein. My goal was to bring up my sugar levels, but not to crash again. So combining the protein and a fiber with your sugar helps you when it starts going down, helps you to go down slowly and not to crash. I didn't need another episode. So um, one thing it did show me was that at least at this time in my life, and honestly, I'm probably going to put put my goal of doing my 21 to 30 day water fast, I'm just going to put it to bed and put it to rest. Um, um, I was very determined for this one. I almost makes me sad because I was so determined and I knew that I was going to do this water fast. Um, it was just something I, it was important to me and I was going to do it. So anyway, and my glasses will hide the fact that I'm crying. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't you guys see my red eyes. Um, so yes, I'm disappointed. Um, but you know, I, I'm, I learned something from this and I before I get to that I just want to say that not everyone has this episode with their with their insulin levels a lot of people can safely fast and I don't want this to scare you if you are if you are wanting to water fast like I've said all along every time I do these water fast you listen to your body you don't go by what someone else has done because their water fasting experience is going to be different from yours so you listen to your body and um, you know, I have done a nine day water fast and had no problems with it, but that was also after eating a very healthy and like probably about an 85 
85% plant-based diet with just a little bit of chicken and tuna thrown in and fish. Um, but I lost a lot of weight that year. I felt good. I felt happy. Um, I felt really healthy. And so going into that water fast, I was in a very good physical state going in there in a healthy state. My blood sugar levels were staying very stable and in a very, in, in between like 75 and 85, always in that range. So they stayed very stable. And, um, I think that made a big difference in my water fast because I was going into it in a healthier state. This time I'm not as healthy. My blood sugar levels are not as good. And, um, and you know, I also have polycystic ovary syndrome, which can affect your insulin levels and how it does. And that probably played a part as well, but whatever the reason, um, I, I don't know if I will do another water fast, not an extended water fast. I still see me doing one in two days every once in a while. Um, I felt, I felt good on this water fast. I felt really good on this water fast. Um, except for like three hours last night and actually at three o'clock, I start feeling really bad. And then at six o'clock I felt fine. I was able to exercise a little bit more and I felt good. So, um, you know, the little bit of, I think I was starting to go into ketosis and stuff. And so that was a little bit of a, cause I had the sore throat and then a little bit of the mucus and kind of those type of symptoms. But, um, that's all stopped now, <laughs> now that I've ate, but, um, I have had positive, I got something really good and positive out of this water fast. Even though I did not complete the water fast, I know had my body not, um, cried out and said, Hey, I need help. <laughs> Please eat. <laughs> um, I would have continued on, um, had my sugar levels stayed normal or even just dipped down to the sixties a little bit. I would not have stopped. I was determined. I, I knew I had the self-discipline and the drive to do it for the first time in my life. I knew I was doing this water fast. I've tried it before and I failed this time. I knew, but I failed because I gave in to cravings. That's why those failed. Cause I gave in to cravings this time. I don't consider this a failure because I did not give in to cravings or any of those things. Um, I let my, I listen to my body and I let my body tell me that, Hey, you need to eat because your sugar levels are going down really fast. <laughs> and, uh, for your health, you need to eat. And I, but that's why I said, well, this, my motive behind this water fast was to get the health benefits, but I can get health benefits from eating a healthy diet and exercising like I plan to do after this water fast. I'm just going to do it earlier now. And, um, I wanted it to help me break some of my bad habits regarding food emotional eating and grazing in the kitchen where I go to the cupboards and the, and the, the refrigerator every time I enter the kitchen and I look, is there anything in there I want to eat? Mmm, that looks good. No, I don't think I want that today. And look and look and look until I can find something to eat. Sometimes I go away and I don't eat and sometimes I do. More often than not, I do. And that's a bad habit and it's not one that I want to continue having. So, um, like I said, I know I had the determination and self-discipline and the drive to do this water fast. Um, I'm going to take that same feeling and put it toward my healthy diet and exercise routine. Um, and breaking those habits that I was wanting to break in the next, these next 30 days. I can still break those habits. I don't have to be on a water fast to do it. And so, excuse me again. So, um, yeah, I'm sorry if I disappointed anyone. Um, but I, I told everyone that I would do this safely and listen to my body. I also wanted to kind of give everybody the symptoms as I went along. Well, you're only going to get symptoms after day three or day four. But, um, anyway, this is something that can happen. Just watch for it. I wouldn't continue on if my blood sugar levels dropped that low. That's up to you though, to do what's, what you feel is best for your body. Um, but I don't mess with that. So, um, anyway, um, I think I will still be doing my videos just once a week. I'm doing my weekly weigh-ins like I used to do in um, my weigh-in videos and recap, weekly recap videos that I used to do in 2013. Um, I know I'm doing them on Facebook. I don't know if I'll do them on YouTube. But um, um, anyway, that's all for today. Um, I'm doing um a lot. But I, my bed's unmade. My hair is still wet because I just got out of the shower. And I'm actually going to go back to bed because even though my sugar levels are back up to normal, I am and my heart beats back to normal and everything's back to normal. 
that wipes me out. I mean, totally wipes me out. And um, I had to wait until now, and it's gosh, it's one thirty, and this happened. I ate it like ten. It's taken this long for my body to get strong enough where I felt like I could take a shower and actually get on here and sit down and do a video. So um, it's at the ten minute mark. This is too much rambling. Um, I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> and um, this would do, but I do want to encourage you. If if you want to do a water fast, don't let this put you off. Just watch your sugar levels. And if you find that you're having the symptoms of low blood sugar, you know, eat. And then if you're not, if it's just flu symptoms type of thing, it's probably your detox and you're, you're perfectly fine. But again, listen to your own body. I listened to mine and I did what I thought was best and I stand behind it. And while I'm disappointed, I know I did not fail. I just did what was best for my body. And there's a big difference there. All right. I love you guys. I call you blessed and I encourage you all to live strong and happy. See you. I will probably see you on Tuesday, which is, I think I'm weighing in on, no, I'll probably just see you Sunday or Tuesday. I don't know. Bye. <laughs>